Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, a Lotro Guide. All right, today, my friends, so I want to do a quick video on what Zolan Iron Shield is favorite qu questing track is. Like, where do I go? Where do I normally go to quest, right? Like, how do I do it really fast, right? Since I've been playing this game since the very beginning, and it just had its 15 year anniversary. The level cap right now is 140. So I want to help the new people who are just coming into the game, or you need a refresher. And you guys loved my Lotro efficiently questing video. So I want to make a more precise version of that, as in more precise being a one streamed line choice that you can pick if you're someone that's just like where do I go I want to level I want to do it fast and efficiently where do I go all right that's the goal of this video right now right and I want to do it in a timely manner for you as well so again if you have other questions or things you'd like me to show you in the future or other guide videos please leave a comment don't forget to like subscribe it helps you out and let's move straight into it so we're here at my house in the bay of the cape of Belflas but we are going to talk about Eridor, because this is where you start, right, in the game. So when you start out, you're level one. They did add a thing right now, which I have some videos on, of you. they gave you a little valor boost thing where you can instantly go to level 50 for the 15th year anniversary special thing. If you're confused on that, go check out my other guide videos. I have a few things I talk about valor boosts and what they do. But again, this will help you, because I'll tell you where you'll be, need to be at level 50 as well. So what I normally do is, whether I play human, hobbit, dwarf, elf, Bjorning, High Elf, Stout Axe, all the things. They're all gonna start in a few places, all right? So Breland, Archit's your big one, right? So Archit is where you are going to um, be when you start as a Hobbit or a human, usually. They'll also send the Bjorning here and, the, and um, that kind of stuff. And basically what I do though is realistically, you don't come back to, these are the big things you have to remember, guys. The really big things, okay? The big things you have to remember are the fact that there's regular quests, there's introduction quests, and there are book quests. Book quests are the big one. Those are the main story. Those are what you follow through. Those are what guide you through the game, okay? The introduction quests at the beginning guide you to about level 25, 2025. They'll guide you to doing stuff. So there's gonna be different introduction quests. There will be one that starts in Archit, that'll lead you down to Comb, and so on, but I'm not gonna talk about that one because if you like that, I'll do another video on that. But I don't know that one as well because I don't do that one all the time. The one we're gonna talk about is the introduction quest over in Air of the Wind, where you start in Thorin's Hall, which is where elves start over here at the refuge and dwarves in Thorin's Hall, okay? So now let's say you are a hobbit or whatever and you get out of the little intro, right? You'll be like level five or something, five, six-ish, a hobbit or a human. You wanna come over here. Same thing with the dwarves, they'll pop out right here on the elves in their intro. But if you are, it's not that hard. Don't freak out. If you do want to do this, what I'm teaching you right now, just go basically go down, go out of Archie, go down to Comb. There's a little horse stable here, and you can take a swift travel to Thorin's Gate. All right? And then you can start what I'm telling you right now. So do the quest in here. Start up the intro quest. There's an intro quest you're going to pick up right up here. You'll probably talk to Dwallin a little bit inside Thorin's Hall. There's a guy here. There's a bunch of little quests out here in the... Uh, and Farron's Court you're gonna do, level five, you're gonna be level seven, whatever, do all these quests. There's a gear quest that basically you go back and forth over and over from Thorin's Gate, Thorin's Hall, and you go out and do these things, but I'm not gonna sidetrack you guys. My suggestion, skip the gear quest, okay? Unless you're a completionist, just skip that one. Uh, just do the basic ones where you go to all these different caves, you turn them all in here. Now you're a certain level. Now they're gonna give you a question, they're gonna say, go talk, go to talk to him at Noglod, right? All right, Noglog is down here. That'll be the next spot you'll be. You'll be about around level nine-ish, I think, maybe, possibly at this point. And you'll be doing some quests around here. You'll go help someone for the chapter quest, right? The, or the intro quest here. Make sure you keep doing the intro quest because it's going to lead you in the book quests, right? So keep doing those. Um, if the quests are really underneath you guys, like, as in, this is something I explained in the other one, which I'll explain real quickly for you guys because this is really important to know. If quests are, the color scheme matters, okay? So I'm going to open these quests. If you see these white ones, they're on my level or, or within one level, the color. Blue means they're getting a little lower than you. Orange is, they're quite a bit higher, right? Again, I'm level 133, you can see right here. And it says the level right here in your quest log, right? 130, so that's a little high for me. 125, these are a little low for me. When they gray out, it's a really too low for you, right? They're like, they're some like 20 something levels lower than you, right? So that's what you have to think about with that. And then um, once you have those, that, that in mind, right? 
just remember that some quests you will need to complete the next quests, okay? So some quests, like, you might have a great quest and be like, oh, it's too low level, I won't get very much XP, I'll just, I'll just cancel out of my inventory. Well, don't forget, some quests will open the next quest and guide you to the next area, all right? So that's the reason I say that, is now we go back over to Ered Lewin. We're in Noglod. Now you might get a quest where it says, go talk to blah, blah, blah at Gondaman. Okay, so now you've done all the quests here. You've done the chapter quests. You might have ran back over to Thorin's Hall. Don't forget to use, click on the Stable Masters while you're questing. Make sure you learn them because it's really annoying later to have to run all the way back if you didn't click the Stable Master. So it's very important for questing. So then you're going to go down to Gondaman and you're going to do quests around here. And they're going to send you over. There's going to be some quests to do over here. And there's going to be some an elf quest. You can do these little barrow downs. And there's a spider quest. And then there's uh, there's some stuff down here they might send you to do. And then once you're done with a few quests here, the chapter, it's going to send you to a camp right here, which is uh, Thrashy's Lodge, right? And it's this dwarf's lodge. And you're going to help this one ranger, which you'll have an instance, kind of different instance one and thing. You'll do some quests here. There's like a lost bow down here. You basically, if you can't find a lost bow, it's a little guy that walks around right here outside the base. Just kill the dwarf with the name, the special name, and he'll have the bow. You do a couple quests in there. You can go down here. You can do these quests. You might be high enough level at this point that you won't have to do that. The area down here when you go down this little valley. So remember, the big one you have to keep track of is you're following the prologue quest and then the book quests, right? The other little quests sometimes will you'll turn in a quest and it'll give you a quest to go to this next area, but it's not always necessary to get those next quests. But it is necessary for books and chapter and uh, prologues. That's what I'm telling you. So like, if you're doing a book quest, if you decline it, you have to go re-pick it up from the original person, turn it in, and then you get the next one from the next person. Versus where some of these quests will take you to another area and say, go talk to this person. When you get there, you talk to them and then they give you another quest, but they would have given you that quest anyway, even if you hadn't had that quest. Okay, does that make sense? I don't want to confuse you guys too much if you're not. It's get a little too crazy there on you guys. So now the next thing I would do is skip over the Shire. All right, at this point, it's going to tell you, go talk to Aragorn and Bree. All right, so they just added Yonder Shire. You could definitely question Yonder Shire. I have yet to quest with a low level character in Yonder Shire. So even though it's brand new and this is 2022 of me talking about the game, right? Um, you could quest here if you want to, but I will not be telling you any good paths because I don't know if the chapter quest really, if you're going to be following chapter quest, you won't really want that. So move straight on over to Breland. You won't need to go to the Shire unless you want to do quest in the Shire. But again, the quests Shire level for Shire, Ered Luin, and Archid area over here in Breland are all the same. So anyway, but then once you get here, you're going to get over to Buckland area and um, you're going to go over and talk to Butterbur. You're going to get quests from him. Start doing quests there. Then the next best area is to quests. Okay, this is my mind. I'm just giving you general areas to make this quick for you. Then I would say go to Oslo's camp, possibly. You could also go up to, there's a guy up here. There's a little building up here. You can help them them work and do work. Uh, you could go back over to Buckland and do quests. You are going to have to go into the old forest. You could go do some Buckland quests in the old forest. Go to Buckland and do some of those because you're going to have to talk to Tom Bombadil after you talk to Aragorn a little bit. And then you're going to get put sent to the Barrow Downs, right? And do some stuff with Tom Bombadil. You might have to do an instance, that kind of stuff. That's the chapter quest I'm talking about. Now, at this point, you're probably well almost level 20, I would assume easily. If you've been doing the chapter quest, you've been doing all the other quests that are around that are on par with your level. So at this point, there's two different things you can do. You can either go to the Lone Lands and start at the Forsaken Inn. Or you can go north to the North Downs and start at Trestle Bridge. It's really up to you. They're about the same level. I would recommend, depending on, I think the chapter will send you to the Lone Lands first. So I would go do the Lone Lands uh, quests. You're going to go over, you do some stuff in here. You're going to go over, there's that ranger camp up here behind Weathertop. You're going to be helping him a bunch. So make sure he has a horse you can use. Make sure you use it. You're going to. Make sure you keep on the chapter quest because a lot of times they make you go back and forth a lot to do different stories and plots versus the regular quests where you'll like go in Forsaken and pick up, kill goblins, go out, kill goblins, turn it in, and you're done, right? But the chapter quest, you're going to be going back and forth a little bit. So then uh, you might have to go up to Weathertop, that kind of thing. Now, at this point, you could go straight over to Oskaruth, but Oskaruth is a little bit higher level. So you might want to bounce between Forsaken Inn if you're not high enough level yet and, the, and Trestle Bridge, okay? So you're going to be bouncing back and forth between those two. That's for the new those are the areas and again the quests are going to help guide you this whole point of my video right now is to kind of just help you focus on where you need to be going okay so now 
at this point with Trestle Bridge, you'll be doing some quests out here, around here. There will be a quest guy over here at this guy's camp or ranger. You could do the quest out here in the uh, fields of Fornos. There's a couple. I would kind of ignore them. I would more just go over to this camp where the horse is Amon Wraith and do some quests there. At this point, you will be sent... Um, at the, this point, I would pop back to doing quests. And again, you can follow where the your level's at and stuff. Go to Oscar Ruth. Do quests in Oscar Ruth. Um, Agmarun, this area, the swamp. Later, you'll get some quests to go up here. And it's more like level 35-ish or something, I believe the level is. Um, I'll put links to the wiki leveling things. They're fantastic. And they were in the original video. This, this, this is a follow-up, too. And it is very, very helpful for you guys. So use those. It really helps. Um, and then you will go down to, uh, you could do some stuff down here in Harlong. There's a Oathbreaker you help down here and another guy. There are some Earthkin you can help here. There's another camp here you can help. So you can do some quests around here, right? Now at this point, you're getting pretty high level. So now at this point, you're going, okay, so I'm like level 28, right? 28, somewhere to 30-ish, probably you're at this point. Uh, even if you're not quite that high, it's okay. Then you go to Esteldon, which is this little area here between this mountain. So you'll come in here, you'll do quests here. There'll be some quests to do out here, possibly. You can go down the elven area and do some quests. They'll send you. And then this dwarven area up here, you'll do some quests. Now you're getting a higher level. At this point, the chapter quest is probably going to be pulling you towards the troll shaws, okay? So then you're going to go to the troll shaws. There's a bunch of camps. You just follow the quests. They just go along the road here. They've added a whole new area over here. You can do quests. But realistically, you could just follow the quests through these this main road here. Um, the Sons of Elrond are here. Elro here and Eladan are here. You help them a little bit, then you'll continue to find you're gonna be like looking for uh, no spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you that, but just follow the chapter. It'll tell you. I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you're new. And then uh, you'll be sent over to Rivendell sooner or later. Okay. So at this point now you're probably in like level 35 to level 40ish. So you can do stuff in Rivendell a little bit. You could go back up. And uh, now here's the thing, right? You're going. Okay, wait a sec. What if I'm not? What if I'm in my, the level 40s? You know, I've been doing stuff in Troll Shaws, I've been stuff over here, and now I'm like 42. But really, Angmar, just so you know, Angmar and the Region and Moria and stuff, those are level 50, okay? So the next places you can go after that is Evendim, this lower half of Evendim. I, I didn't tell you about it, but it's it's very um it's a lot lower level. It's like level 25 is 28. But this area is a higher up. It's more in the 30s. So you can do all the quests around here. Evanim's beautiful. A lot of traveling. They add these little boats that you can use. So you can move around with these little boats, right? You could swap fish, fast travel with these boats. Um, so you could do quests in here. So at this point though, um, you could be doing some quests up there in Northern Evendim. But really what you'll probably be doing is you'll be going, moving into Misty Mountains and Angmar, all right? So, and so Misty Mountains, there's a chapter quest you're going to follow with Glowin up here. Uh, yes, Gimli's father. And you'll be doing quests. You can do quests all throughout the Misty Mountains. And then Angmar, when you get up to Agheria, or right, right here, these are the good hillmen, basically, that we help. Um, no spoilers on that. You'll be doing quests around here. This is level 40-ish, 41, 42. And then you have to do the chapter quest to pass a certain location right here. No spoilers, but don't just run because um, you will die. <laughs> so there's a there's a camp here you can do some stuff later you once you're done with that chapter quest and allows you to pass you'll be able to do some dwarf stuff here and do some stuff out here for questing you could also go up to four is another option right if you need other options and right there's a town right here behind the camera um the, where you come in down here and then you also go up to this big giant ice crevice and you can do all these villages and towns this is up to level 50 as well so those both get you from about 40 to 50. okay so at that point the chapter quest you're going to be way up here for finishing some stuff up here at his camp at garth fourth or uh fourthern um you'll be helping rangers up there with the chapters you could continue you could finish that chapter book but once you're about level 50, you can go and start the Moria stuff, you guys, okay? So this is where I like to I like to try to get to about almost 50, and then I like to head down to a region. So again, a region is another area you could quest if you need more areas to quest. Again, see, there's a lot of options within the level 30 to 50 area where you can quest, but a region's all the way up. It's like starts in the low 40s and goes all the way up to 50, right? In all these different elven towns that you can do stuff at, but really, all you need to do is once you hit 50, come to this town right here, um, Echen Dunan, and then it's there's a dwarf right at the front door of this spot or gate, 
and you talk to him, he will start the chapter book quest for Moria. That's where you need to be for level 50, all right? So then you're gonna go in, you do that Walls of Moria, then you'll get into Moria. Now, Moria is level 50 to 60, the whole area. Let me quickly go over it for you, okay, guys? Again, I will do a more in-depth one, leave comments what you want. I just need people to, I need to know what you guys want because I don't wanna just make stuff and no one needs it, right? So let me know, like, what do you need? What do you, what do you need? Leave a comment, I'd be happy to help, so um that's that's the goal of this playlist on the channel here of course my channel is voice of the rings we do lots of lord of the rings content but for lotro this is the guide playlist um so when you first come in the dolvin view you do some quests right here you'll move in the dolvin view um and then you will need to go down slightly to the sylvantine loads but the chapter and the deep descent right here you do some quests but then you'll actually go back up to durin's way and the chapter quest from the chamber of crossroads you do a lot of quests around here they will lead you to areas all along here and the 21st hall. You can kind of skip a lot of the silver time load if you want. You don't have to. By the time you're done with leveling, you won't need to. Um, then you're going to be doing some stuff in Zelik Melik over here in the 21st hall for the chapter quests. Uh, you could go up and do stuff in Durin's Way. I have been doing it in our Lotro Tail playlist with this area because it's cool. But really, you can just skip it because it's lots of extra time. I'm doing it just because it's fun. We could do more voiceovers. But again... I'm trying to make this more efficient for you if you're a new player. Um, and then just keep moving through. Again, I'll have that guide down there and it'll tell you exactly what level all these places are, but the quest will lead you to a new area, right? So if you finish something as Zealot Melek, it'll probably say, go to the Red Horn Loads to talk to this person and it will tell you the next area to go, right? So this is probably like 55, I believe, Red Horn Loads is. And uh, um, Numb, the second hall, the Bridge of Khazad Doom, this area, it has a couple quests in it, chapter things you do. Um, the foundation stone, you're probably not even gonna have to worry about it down there. It's really end game. It's got raids for end game 60, but it's still fun raids. The flaming deep, you might need to do stuff. But again, the chapters won't take you through these lower areas. The waterworks, you can also do stuff. The watcher instances down here, the vile maw, which is pretty cool where you find the watcher. It's an awesome raid, but again, not necessary. You might want to go up to the top. There's a little passage out right here. So, oh no, right here. Uh, where it goes to the top of the mountain and you can find, um, no spoilers, Durin's Bane. Because the Fellowship already came through, right? All right, so that's another good thing to know. So now you're like, okay, now I'm level 60. Now what do I do, right? All right, so let's continue on talking about this. Again, this is a quick beginner's guide for you guys. So Moria to the Dimredale. All right, now you're at Cal Glothlorien. You can do quests out here. Now let's say you are you get four levels for this area, right? You do quests out here. Um, now you can kind of move around. Again, so many options. Okay, guys, I don't, I don't want to make it too hard for you, but there's tons of options. You can go across to Southern Mirkwood, start doing Southern Mirkwood. That's 65-ish, up to 65. So there's a lot of quests you could do there. You could also head up to the Vale of Anduril. And I believe, um, I believe that is the right, you can go straight into that too, for that area of the leveling. Um, that's another good one. Um, you also uh, actually might not be able to go up there yet. You might need to do Southern Mirkwood and then head south, now that I think about it, actually. Yeah, you might have to head south into Roavanian because um, you're going to basically be doing quests down in Gond I mean Rohan area, okay? So now you're like 60s, right? The Wold, right, is basically Eastern Rohan, the Wold. You're going to start doing quests down here. You'll move along. Just follow the things. They'll help you through. Again, I've done this. I've played this game since the very beginning, but I don't have every quest memorized in every spot because there are thousands, right? I just have generic remembrances of, okay, this is the area as we go, which is why we'll have those wiki pages for you for the exact levels, if you guys want to know, uh, <laughs> in the description. And then um, Edoras, you can get down into Rohan. So you do East Rohan, and then you move over to West Rohan, and West Rohan's a little higher, up to 95. This is up to the new area, you guys, okay? So this is like up to the new content you can have free to play, is my point, right? If you watch my video on free to play, you can go check that on the playlist. I have a whole thing about, you go all the way up to 95 now with free to play. So you have all the way up to the Rohan West expansion. All right. Then at that point, if you're VIP, you get everything else, obviously, normally. But if you're not VIP, you'll start in Western Gondor. This is like level, um, this is right at 95, right? So you can start doing quests in Western Gondor. You'll move to Central Gondor and then Eastern Gondor. Now you're in the hundreds, right? You're like level 100 something at this point, 105. Minas Tirith. All right. And then um, 
you could do stuff also at Far Norian, which is north, right north of Gondor, this area. They're gonna have, you could do quests up there. And then at this point, you're gonna be like 105. You're gonna be over here, not at Oskilianth, but go north to northern Oskilianth, up to the Wastes. The Wastes are just outside of Mordor. This is where the Mordor expansion comes out for you guys. You'll be doing quests with the Grey Company and basically preparing to attack Mordor, right? So to, to distract for Frodo and Sam in the chapters, like you see in the movies, um, but it's a little bit more complex because they base it off the books in the game. Um, so you do some stuff out here, and then you're going to move into Mordor. Mordor is pretty self-explanatory. It looks small, but it's a huge place. Uh, you come in, you do quests here, you do quests here, you know, quests here, here, here. Do what you can. Get the chapter books done, and you'll be good. Um, Minas Morgul is a much higher level area next. So we don't actually go to Minas Morgul just yet. The next expansion was actually Northern Rovanian with this area up here. So you can also then do quests up here, right? So you're like 115, I believe. Uh, look, at, look at, I'm gonna look at the wiki thing for that. <laughs> Let's make sure I don't misquote level numbers here. But you could be doing quests up here. You can help the elves of the Woodland Realm, which is basically here, right? The halls of the Elven Kings, uh, the dwarves of Lonely Mountains, Lake Town, dale then you can hop over to iron hills there's actually really not much iron hills is like just another area to level it's kind of like a forage shell it's not really you don't really need to go there but it has more quests and it's fun and you get you earn stuff right so if you need more quests you can go to iron hills over there but then at that point the next expansion i believe in my mind was minas morgul minas morgul and sirathangal will have stuff higher level quests bunch of different places to do quests here right and then the newest one of the newest expansions was well not the newest one it's not the fate of gundabad um it is the next area you would travel would be to go north in rovanian north of these places and you would go to arid mithrin so this was the next area right so these are where you just come in here down here behind my camera from the lonely mountain this is this horse place here start doing quests and they'll just and, and you can be doing the book chapter quests. you will start the chapter book quests for the dwarf ones in um the lonely mountain i believe is where you get it and then scarhold you do a bunch of quests it's like the main city in this area dwarven city you'll be doing stuff in all these abandoned cities it's pretty cool and mines and this glacier is super cool and all that cool stuff and then you'll move over to the rush bog elden slades so again there is that little area right here the walls and the veils these are all other areas you could be leveling and you can look at the level cap exactly on the wiki thing but i would just kind of skip them they're not i don't think they're really needed but anyway that's about where i am right now with my leveling so now what i'm doing is once you get up here right and you get to this area you get up to the Elder Slades. You do some quests right down here at this place, and then it gets you up to right here. And basically, it gets you to these places into Gundabad, right? And then you are actually in... There's You can actually cross over into Angmar now. There's a little cross spot there. But um, then you can do questing in Gundabad. And then this is questing Gundabad. will take you from level 130 to 140, this whole area. And then there's some stuff in the back out here in the valley in the back, which is this beautiful valley, which I actually haven't been in a lot yet, which I'm excited about. So I'll be doing that in the future. So stay tuned. Maybe I already have. Maybe the video is already up if you're watching this later. And then um, Angmar, right? So anyway, that's pretty much the end to get there. Again, I know that was a lot. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, you were just showing me the maps. Well, I am aware of that. Um, I can do videos on showing you specific areas, but that takes great amount of time as you all know with an MMO to walk around and I just wanted to give that a quick guide for you I didn't want to make a two or three hour thing because how many of you are really going to watch a two or three hour video right like realistically like you know what I'm saying unless you're like really like I want to know every detail but um hopefully that helps you guys out though especially at the beginning area I really recommend just going over to Aerith Lewin starting in Thorin's Hall get those introduction quests if you're brand new follow those it'll lead you to the next town the next town the next spot the next spot all those spots i just showed you boom 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 and the lodge here and then every time you go to one of those they'll basically send you out to do a bunch of quests around it you turn them all in it'll lead you to the, the it'll give you a quest to go to the next place the prologue will probably send you to the next place and then at a certain point you get to the chapter quest which will be like Arag um, Arag aragorn and brie and the prancing pony where you're kind of doing stuff side by side with the fellowship right so anyway What'd you guys think? Hopefully that helped you out. 
Um, I wanted to make another guide video on that because I had a very nice comment the other day of someone made a comment that, hey, I'm coming from another MMO and I love Lotra. I want it to be my new home and your guides have been really helpful. So like, I was like, okay, I better make another guide that's a little bit more um, streamlined on what exactly I would do with leveling. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons. You guys are the best. And uh, me and Zellan will see you in the next episode of Voice of the Ring. Scrapman's going to be right there. And uh, the next episode will be up there for our guides. And Alotra Tale, my main content's down there. So you should check them out. Check that stuff out as well. And uh, you guys have a great day in Middle Earth. I am your hosting guide, Zellan Iron Shield, as always. And please, please, please leave comments on what other kind of guides you would like. I would be happy to make them. So I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings.